Robert Sherman is in Pennsylvania for us this morning, and we start there. Good morning, Robert. Good morning to you, Mitch. And this was, without question, one of the most highly anticipated debates of this cycle. Dr. Mehmet Oz, the Republican, John Fetterman, the Democrat, one key race which could ultimately determine who controls the United States Senate this upcoming session. And the two left it all on the debate stage. Two candidates with everything to prove met on the debate stage in Harrisburg Tuesday night. For John Fetterman, it was all about showing voters that he's fit to serve after suffering a stroke earlier this year. He attempted to address it early. And let's also talk about the elephant in the room. I had a stroke. He's never let me forget that. And I might miss some words during this debate mush two words together, but it knocked me down, but I'm gonna keep coming back up. A real-time closed captioning system was used during the debate, which was agreed to by both campaigns, allowing Fetterman to understand moderator questions and Dr. Oz's answers. For Oz, it was about showing he was the right fit for Pennsylvanians, despite being a short-term resident, coming from a non-political background. I have loved traveling to the four corners of the beautiful Commonwealth, and I've heard your problems. I'm a surgeon. Doctor, I listen to what you say, and I'm trying to help address them today. Oz has spent much of the campaign painting Fetterman as soft on crime, a strategy he continued with on stage. John Fetterman, during this crime wave, has been trying to get as many murderers convicted and sentenced to life in prison out of jail as possible. I'm the only person on this stage right now that has con con is successful about pushing back against gun violence and being the community more safe. You know, all he's done is just put a plan up on his website in the last 24 hours. The economy, another key issue. We need to fight about inflation, you know, right now because it's a tax on working families, you know. And Dr. Oz can't possibly understand what that is like. You know, he has 10 gigantic mansions. John Fetterman thinks the minimum wage is his weekly allowance from his parents. He's not really cognizant of the real challenges of business owners who've got to balance that with employees. Wrapping the debate by making a final pitch to voters. Are you unhappy with where America's headed? I am. And if you are as well, then I'm the candidate for change. I'm a living embodiment of the American dream. I believe we're the land of opportunity, the land of plenty. My campaign is all about fighting for anyone in Pennsylvania that ever got knocked down, that had to get back up again. So just this morning, the Real Clear Politics average of polls shows that this race is within 2%. Pretty significant considering that it was about 9% two months ago. Uh, you watched the debate last night, and it was very clear John Fetterman had difficulties at moments getting his words out, comprehending some of the questions. Will that have an impact on the outcome of the race? That still remains to be seen. Keep in mind, early voting has already been ongoing. Mitch. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.